Hello ladies and gents, how the very devil are you? Andy Mancam here, and I'm guessing that you've already guessed by the title of the video that there is a new horse in the stable. And you'd be absolutely right, otherwise this would be the finest example of horrible clickbait that YouTube has ever seen. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush for ages and tease you about what it is, I'm going to show you, but while I walk to where she's resting, just have a little guess yourself about what you think it is. I can tell you, it's got over 140 brake horsepower, puts out over 100 Newton meters of torque, it has a single-sided swing arm, and it's also, quite frankly, beautiful. Have you guessed it? That's absolutely right. It is a Honda CB1000R. Look at that beautiful, beautiful machine. I picked this beauty up about a week ago, it took about a week to deal with all of the paperwork and that nonsense, and then today is the first proper ride out on what's actually quite a pleasant day, just to try and get the first thousand kilometers out of the way so I can take this beautiful, beautiful thing for its first service and then take it properly touring. Now, as you may have already noticed, I've already done a couple of modifications, added a couple of things to it. Just give you a quick rundown, starting from the front. We've got the SW Motec aluminium screen, set of SW Motec Cobra handguards. Underneath here, we've got the crazy Mad Max style SW Motec downpipe guards. I'm not going to be having any more stone chips or general road born abrasion happening to my downpipes anymore, and the things look like they could go and hunt dragons. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got the old crash bobbins on the front axle as well, just in case, because, let's be honest, I have been known to drop the odd bike on the floor, so just in case this should happen with this one, we are hopefully protected. You're sensing a theme here, we've got the SW Motec engine bars, a set of SW Motec Evo footrests. These things are adjustable, giving me forward, backwards, up and down adjustment, which is fantastic. We've got a Chitoro chain oiler, to so the top here we've got the SW Motec SLC carrier racks for fitting on various pannier options from them. Obviously same on the other side, otherwise the thing would be a bit lopsided. Stuck on a nice MIV end can just to make the noise come out a little bit easier and to free up the view of this glorious back wheel. I, mean, I was taken with this when I did the test ride. This thing is a piece of art. That's just awesome. And finally, finally, I've got a single-sided swing arm, so I never ever have to worry about chain alignment ever again. And I have to say, I have been having an absolute whale of a time riding this bike around. Obviously, I've been taking it a bit gently. Uh, in the first thousand kilometers, I'm supposed to kind of limit the revs a little bit, just not thrash it, not ring its nuts. Ring its nuts? Don't worry, love, I'm not gonna wring your nuts. I've not been wringing its neck all over the place, so just taking it nice and easy, getting it ready for that first service, and then we can really start touring on this thing. But look at that beautiful thing. Is that not just a work of art? I mean, look at this rear sprocket hanger. Honda have just done such a great job of finishing all of this off. To say that I'm somewhat taken with this new acquisition would be rather somewhat of an understatement. While we're here, probably want to hear it running, don't you? Yeah, so there we go. Just cannot help but keep looking at the thing. Every time I've parked it anywhere, any time I've filled up with petrol, every time that I've gone into the garage, I just want to stand and look at the thing. It is absolutely stunning. There's no question about it. This is a fine looking machine. So, there's the bike. Let's get out there, stick it on the road, and uh, just give you a quick look at what it looks like while it's moving.
we go, there's the new machine. Thanks so much for coming along for the unveiling. I hope you enjoyed meeting the new steed and I very much look forward to showing you many, many happy miles on her. Otherwise, thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time.